Greg Udelhofen, ForConstructionPros.com. I'm here at Con Expo 2017 in the Leap Here booth, and I'm with uh, Wolfgang Feaster, who is the marketing manager for Crawler Cranes. And we're, we're standing in front of the uh, HS8130 heavy duty crawler crane and start talking about this as far as the, the you know the application of this product and some of the features that, that we have here. All right. So what you see here actually is uh, the latest rep representative of our dedicated range of duty cycle crawler cranes. So it's the HS8130 means 130 metric tons or 143 US ton capacity. Mm -hmm. It is a duty cycle crawler crane means it's a multi-purpose machine for all sort of uh, duty cycle applications such as material handling with drag line, grab, dredging operation, dynamic soil compaction. You can also use it as a lift crane of course as well, but it is a duty cycle machine actually. And what is new with this machine, for the first time presented in the North American market, and we have specifically adapted it to the market with a longer undercarriage providing higher stability, okay. less ground pressure and higher lift charts. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and again, so, so with that, that uh, bigger footprint of the undercarriage, so the lifting capacity, how much has it increased with that platform? The lifting capacity, the nominal capacity is the same, but the higher the outreach, the higher okay. the outreach of the boom, the higher the lift capacity, depending actually on, on, on the actual outreach. But more importantly was uh, the fact that you have uh, a higher stability of the machine, right. Uh, right. depending on the type of duty cycle application you do with the machine. And, and give me an example of, of, of an application, a typical application of this piece of equipment. The typical application for this is uh, in foundation industry, for example, okay. casing oscillator, you do this drilling, these, uh, these drilling piles. Okay. So you put a casing oscillator, you attach it to the machine. The machine has a very high nominal engine power and uh, this means you also power the casing oscillator with the basic uh, energy you have from, from the basic machine. Okay. So typically it would be casing oscillator but also for example with a hydraulic or with a mechanic slurry wall grab for foundation applications. Talk a little more about the hydraulic system on this piece of equipment. There's some, some different things about that, correct? Yeah. The hydraulic system is new in a way. So the machine has optimized hydraulics. We have a double hydraulic engine on the winch. Both the main winches, by the way, 78,700 pounds main winches, two of these main winches, plus the slewing gear are in a closed hydraulic circuit. And uh, simply, we, you, you have a higher winch speed and higher hydraulic power, meaning up to 315 feet per minute winch speed, uh, which is uh, really extraordinary. Okay. Very good. Anything else that, that uh, uh, you know, contractors need to know about this or should know about it? Well, interestingly, uh, we have uh, put very much efforts on the safety of the machine. Okay. So uh, there are a few more safety um, um, measures that we didn't have in the past, such as, for example, the uh, the pedestals and the handrail, you can slide them to the machine, you fold them down, they stay with the machine, can be easily mobilized. Okay. Uh, with remote control system, yep. so the machine can mobilize itself, has checkup cylinders in the middle, right. uh, cylinders for the counterweight, they can be handled by a remote control, you don't have to walk underneath the machine, or for example, the, uh, the attachment for the, for the boom foot, it can be pinned hydraulically, or the remote control. So, We've put very much effort on, on the safety of the machine. Okay, very good. Well, I appreciate your time, Wolfgang. Thank, Thank you very you. much, then. Okay. Thank you.